<laughs> no. Ay! Ay! No. Ay! <laughs> It's over there! 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 I don't got nothing! Be back! I don't got nothing! It's over there! It's over there! Be back! You motherfucker! Fuck it! Jack the ball away from me, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, what's going on, you guys? So yeah, yeah, just today I just really want to talk to you guys pretty much about the uh, the topic of colors. And um, you know, it just the reason why I want to talk about this is just because uh lots of people lately been uh, dissing about my dogs for not carrying colors uh in for like Isabella or blue or nothing or anything like that or Merle. It's just uh I just I just really wanted to give response to that and say it's totally okay you know i don't give a shit <laughs> i really don't give a shit and uh honestly to tell you guys the truth like the only rare colored dog that i have in my yard actually is just roach right it's just roach and um you know i just had to get roach not only just because he was a black and tan right because he's fucking fat he looks great i love him man just no fatty no <laughs> no fatty in my hand yeah <laughs> but no but anyway um yeah so roach was actually the only badass dog with with color and structure as well so you know i, I just had to get him i love the look and uh, you know the cute face that he's got it's just i just love the look of uh roach and um you know tox as well you know tox you know big ass head and uh lighting sucks but i'll show you guys a video of him right here but um you know and uh just I just I just love the the look of you know my dogs with the pedigree and structure and uh, I'm just here to say you know it's it's really hard to find a dog that's got everything. Uh, most of the top of the line like structure of the dogs or pedigree, it's most likely gonna be like the regular colors, the basic colors with fawn and brindle, just because of uh, how of of what AKC is. AKC actually is just. Uh, the standardized colors with Frenchies of AKC is just the regular colors with with cream, I think pie as well, and uh, fawn, red fawn, and uh, brindle, and that's pretty much it. So, you know, and uh, I really want to talk about this too because I saw this post on Instagram, which uh, somebody posted, it, it, it holds so true to say that dogs that are brindle, they are the foundation of what structure of a dog really is. And, um, you know, it's just now, it comes to the point now, like, where people just mainly breed for just for colors now. And, um, you know, it's, I really want to bring back that, that foundation of, you know, structure and pedigree is what matters uh, mostly. And temperament as well. You know, when I, when I mean my pedigree, I mean by temperament and by, you know, the structure and the physical characteristics of the dog. Uh, first and um, yeah, that's uh, really what I talked about today. Yeah, man, just two people people talk uh, this my dogs all the time, you know. Oh, but do it carry Isabella though? Do it carry Isabella though? But you know, it's with the way you know my dogs look, right? It's totally fine. Uh -huh. My females look badass. They look like she males and males and uh, totally fine. My girl over there, Luna. I don't know if you guys can see her. Luna, but no, you guys didn't see her, but yeah, Luna is actually like a fawn too. You know, all my, you know, what I realized is that all my females are actually fawns, right? Oh, there's Luna. But yeah, all my females are fa like fa red fawns. No, Luna, red fawn, right? Hello, red fawn, red fawn, red fawn. Try the only rare color and Brindle, basic color. But you know, what I can say is that, you know, I love these basic colors, I guess, you know, they are my favorite colors. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Merle, I'm, you know, it just, Merle to me, it's, it's overrated, bro. It really is overrated and not to say, you know, it's overrated for, for a bad reason. No, it's, you know, it, it's overrated for a reason. It's the trend, you know, fluffy is a trend as well. I know I can get into that and make a lot more money with that, with colors and stuff like that. But hey, you know, I have a different vision. I have a West Coast mindset, you know, when it comes with dogs, that Cali mindset. And, um, you know, I get it from my dad. You know, it's it's with me. I can't have a dog. You know, I'm not dissing on nobody's dog, but with me personally, personally, I just can't 
have a dog that's just got colors and no structures at all and i'm not talking shit about other people's dogs no it's just it's just it's just a, what i like to have in my yard and uh i love all dogs you know people with those dogs with colors they still go breed to my dogs you know and this is just because they see something totally different like whoa you know this dog's got pedigree this dog's got structure this got this dog's got mass even though he's not stacked right now i'll just show you guys you know i wish he was standing right now stacking show you guys how he really looks like just uh this is just a bad angle of roach roach come look at me son hello boy <laughs> and uh, look at this dog i'm just here to say it's hey it's totally okay uh everybody's got their own style of how their dogs want to look like with the colors and everything but hey um, you know, you can feel free to breed whatever type of dog you want. I'm just, I'm just here to say, like, hey, that's totally fine. You know, everybody, everybody's got their own style of dogs. You know, I, I'm not here to talk shit back to pe other people at all. You know, it's just, it's just that I have my own vision of how my dogs want to be like, um, with how I want to breed my dogs, with structure, with you know, being fat, naturally fat. I don't feed these guys a lot. You guys. The most common question always asked about me or my dogs is what do I feed my dogs and um, I, I don't feed them nothing bro. Like I only feed them kibble. Like diamond, chicken and rice, kibble, natural. That's literally all I feed them once a day at night. Um, if I feed them twice a day they will get too fat and uh, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. Like especially when it was summertime too because they will get too fat and uh, I, I'm not a fan of that man just because uh, they will literally like heat stroke death like to death like they will die from heat stroke and um, just just not a good thing You know, it's also not healthy for them too, uh, for the health, but yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just here to talk to you guys pretty much about uh, Why I like why I don't breed for colors. Well, I do breed for colors, but it's just that the dogs or every puppy or litters that I've had it's just that It's it's so weird like I don't know if you guys experience this, but like with me like colors with my puppies, they've never come out to be the best looking in, in pedigree or structure or the headpiece is, is not apparently there. It's it's not the best. Like like I, I get a lot of lilacs and blues, but and then you know with a lot of fawns as well with the litter and, and it's like so weird man. It's just like the, the, the color ones like lilacs and blues they don't look always they don't look as good as my fawn ones for some reason it, this is like actual proof because like all of my females are actually just fawns bro like literally they're all just fawns you know and, um, in fact here's a female right here beeper beeper come here baby and uh yeah I just uh it's so weird man just because like I never get a dog like a female or a male with everything like with colors you know I, I want in the future like in the like I do want in the future you know a dog with everything right a dog with everything oh man it's getting bright now you gotta lower the settings now it is getting bright you guys holy shit but um yeah it just uh that's uh that's really what I want to talk to you guys pretty much about today man fatty come here come on, honey look at that Look at that, y'all. Structure, everything. Y'all think that's a that's a fit in the male? That is not a male. That's a female right there. <laughs> and uh, look at Cardi. Cardi, come here. Come here. What are you doing? Shooting on some acorns. Luna. What's up, Luna? Come here. Come on, Luna. You show me some love. You show me some love. Come here. 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 What you doing, huh? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What do you want? Oh, you trying to tell me something? Yeah, she's trying to tell me something that she's pregnant. You trying to tell me you got babies? Who knocked you up? Hmm? Why do you have? Why are you pregnant? Roach? Roach hiding? Roach is hiding. Roach is hiding. <laughs> Roach? You got something to say? What did you do? What did you do, Roach? Roach? What did you do? Why? Why? How this happened, boy? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Boy, come here, come here, boy. <laughs> Hardy, what are you doing, baby? Look at that. Damn. All right, Luna. Damn. Chill, chill, Luna. Chill, chill, Luna. Damn. What you doing? <laughs> Oh, hell no. Yo, I can't let dogs lick me, man. That's lick me in my, my mouth. That's nasty, bro. I can't do that. 
Like, even though I love dogs, man, I, I can't do that. I got boundaries with my dogs, too, man. You know? <laughs> Calm down, me, bro. Let me show Toxin, man. Yeah. Big boy Ow. now, huh? What? Ow. What? Ow. What? Ow. It's over there. He ain't dumb. <laughs> Damn, I thought I fooled you, boy. Oh. 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 Beast. <laughs>